Hey everyone, Wags here from Eagle Dynamics. And in this DCS AH-64D video, we'll talk about the radar guided version of the Hellfire missile, the AGM-114L, otherwise called the Lima. Unlike the AGM-114K, which is laser guided and requires a laser designation to impact, the Lima is a much deadlier weapon that is true fire forget thanks to the millimeter wave radar seeker in the nose of the missile. This allows rapid engagements and launch and leave capability. Just like the Kilo, we can engage with the Lima in either low al or low ball modes. As with the Kilo, it has the same warhead range. You can also load a maximum of 16 Limas in beast mode. Externally, the Lima can be easily told apart from the Kilo thanks to its white nose cone. When the fire control radar FCR is added later, the Lima will truly be a wish you dead weapon. Let's get started. All right, so we're at our battle position and way up ahead is a company of enemy armor that we're gonna be engaging. But before we do so, let's go ahead and uh, set up our cockpit uh, here in the CPG seat. Uh, first, let's bring up uh, the TSD. Go to uh, Master Arm. And let's go ahead and waz up the Hellfires. Now, up on the uh, weapon page, we can see that we have the type of RF radio frequency. The mode is normal, so it's going to automatically uh, sequence uh, the Hellfires. Or we could go to manual and we can manually sequence the next Hellfire. Uh, coming over, we have all, which would power up all the Hellfires loaded on the aircraft. Auto would just um, uh, power up the ones as needed to avoid overheating and none would unpower all the hellfires. Uh, below we have uh, low ball inhibit. So this essentially would force the hellfires to go into a lock on after launch and not allow them to transmit while still on the launch rail. And the second target inhibit is actually related to the fire control radar. And actually we'll talk about that in a later video. And do was for a second. So you can see uh, radar hellfire is indicated by the chevron on the nose, whereas the uh, lasers have a double line. Waz up. So anything that's uh, solid fill green means it is powered on. And if it's white and flashing, that indicates that it is the uh, next missile in queue to be launched. Now, as with the Kilo Hellfires, we can launch in either lock on before launch or low ball or lock on after launch low out. And it's important to understand that if the target is uh, 2,500 meters or closer, or if the target is moving, low ball will automatically be used. If the missile uh, cannot attain a lock though, it may revert to a low out. Now, if the target is over 2,500 meters away, and stationary, low L will be automatically used. Now, as we noted earlier though, we can inhibit low ball and force low L. Now, it's also worth noting that once you give a target to the Lima with the TADS, you cannot designate a different target if you decide not to launch. However, you can deaction the missile and then rewaz, which erases the target from the missile's memory and then designate a new target. Now, before we take a look at this in action, let me reiterate this one more time. So if the target is outside 2,500 meters and the target is stationary, you're gonna be forced into a lock on after launch or a low L shot, and you'll see the smaller constraint box on the TADS. Now, once launched, the Lima is gonna fly to the target location, turn on the radar seeker in the nose of the missile and search for and home in on the target. Now, naturally this is launch and leave. So once you launch, you could bravely run away or you could you know, proceed to attack a different target. So this has been a, a lot of talking so far. So let's take a look at this in action. Let me zoom into my TADS. Change the field of view. Yes. Looks like we have some stationaries. And some moving targets. Oh, I've got a shulka. Let's go ahead and hit him first. So I'm going to change my field of view again. I love me some auto track. 
Okay, so the first thing we need to do is we need to designate the target to let the uh, radar hellfire know to where to fly out to and search for that target with its own seeker. So to do that, we're going to hold down the second detent of the laser switch until the target data question mark is removed. So holding it down, we see the range. It's gone away. We have a solid constraint box and we're good to go. And missile away. And we have an SA-13 right below it. Let's go ahead and engage him. Auto track him again. Second detent and hold on the laser switch. Good data. Missile away. And of course, you can do this for moving targets. You could even do it for a slow moving helicopter. So folks, I hope you enjoyed this uh, little look at the uh, Raider Hellfire and I'll see you next time. Thanks.